calcium oxide reacts with water in a combination reaction to produce calcium hydroxide. So the reaction is given below. In a particular experiment, a 2.25 gram sample of calcium oxide is reacted with excess water and 1.67 grams of calcium hydroxide is recovered. What is the percent yield in this experiment? Step 1 in solving this problem is to calculate the theoretical yield of calcium hydroxide. Theoretical yield of calcium hydroxide. So in the problem, we are given 2.25 grams of calcium oxide. So from this, we will solve how much calcium hydroxide forms. So we start with 2.25 grams of calcium oxide. We need to convert this to moles of calcium oxide. From moles of calcium oxide to moles of calcium hydroxide. And from moles of calcium hydroxide to grams of calcium hydroxide. So we have 2.25 grams of calcium oxide. To convert this into moles, we need the molar mass of calcium oxide. And the molar mass of calcium oxide is 56.08 grams per mole. So we put one mole on top and at the bottom we put 56.08 grams. So grams of calcium oxide will cancel. Now we have moles of calcium oxide. Next step is to convert moles of calcium oxide into moles of calcium hydroxide. So how do we do this? We look at the balanced chemical reaction. So according to the balanced reaction, one mole of calcium oxide forms one mole of calcium hydroxide. So you simply put this into your conversion. One mole of calcium oxide forms one mole of calcium hydroxide. So the moles of calcium oxide will cancel. Now you have moles of calcium hydroxide. And finally, in order to convert the moles of calcium hydroxide into grams of calcium hydroxide, you need the molar mass of calcium hydroxide. And the molar mass of calcium hydroxide is 74.096 grams per mole. So at the bottom, you put 1 mole of calcium hydroxide and on top, you put 74.096 grams of calcium hydroxide. So moles of calcium hydroxide will cancel and our final unit would be grams of calcium hydroxide. Now if you plug this equation into your calculator, you will solve for the theoretical yield of calcium hydroxide which is equal to 297 grams of calcium hydroxide. So this is your theoretical yield. The question is asking for what is the percent yield in this experiment? So the step two is to calculate the percent yield. The formula for percent yield is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. So according to the problem, the actual yield of calcium hydroxide is 1.67 grams. 
So you put 1.67 grams as the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield which we just computed in step 1. That's 2.97 grams times 100. And if you solve this in your calculator, 1.67 divided by 2.97 times 100, this is equal to 56.2%. And this is the answer to the question.